I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. The players will have to battle cold temperatures in the game tonight between the Tennessee Volunteers and the Aggies of Texas A&M. We hope you're ready for an action-packed game of NCAA football. And here come the Aggies. The Volunteers are very confident coming into this one. They are definitely the favorites in my book, Kirk. Tennessee comes into this one with a good passing attack, and they have a difference maker lining up at wide receiver. In fact, Lee, I think he's one of the best receivers in all of college football. I picked my winner this morning. Here we go. I hope you aren't sick of hearing Rocky Top. I'm taking the bow. Tennessee will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He puts it deep downfield. Number nine fields it in the end zone. Today we get to watch a very talented quarterback direct the offense. The head coach mentioned earlier in the week how important it is for him to have a good game. There's no doubt about it. He needs to play well today, but it's not going to be easy. He's going up against a very good set of corners. You can have the corners, Kirk. I'll take this quarterback in this matchup any day of the week. He's a proven leader, and he won't let his team down. About four yards on that play. Let's take a look at how these guys have done on offense so far this year. Well, they've done pretty well, my friend. They're in the top ten in the country. These guys have been putting on an offensive clinic all year long. They come out with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Steps up. Looking. He's going right. His receiver has it. And down he goes. I like the defense that was called. They just didn't make the play on the ball. You're right. It wasn't necessarily bad defense. The offense just executed, and the result is a first down. First and ten, ball on the 33-yard line. The Aggies line up with three receivers bunch. Wants to throw outside, and it's incomplete. Oh, he had his man, too. Yep, he just overthrew him. Next time, he might want to take something off of it. It's second down and ten to go. Ball on the 33. The Aggies line up in an I formation. Drops back to pass. Down the middle. Incomplete. He had his wide out, but he couldn't hit him. When he misses, it's usually high. And that's something he's been working very hard with his coach on. Third and ten. Ball on their own 33. On the 33 yard line. The Aggies set up in the gun. He drops back. Steps up in the pocket, looks, throws. It's tipped, almost intercepted. And that pass falls incomplete because it was deflected. That's great defense right there, Brad. That's something the coaches always remind their players to do. Get a hand up in the face of the quarterback. They line up to punt this one away. He gets it off. Number 33 signals for a fair catch, and they make the fair catch at the 26. The offense heads out onto the field for the first time. And with their defense forcing the punt, it allows them to have a shot at getting the first points on the board. They'll take over at the 26-yard line. Tennessee sets up in the eye, breaks one. He breaks the second tackle. Brought down. A five-yard pickup for the tailback. Second down and five. Ball on the 31-yard line. Tennessee.
to see. Comes out with an eye formation. And he's stopped behind the line. Now it's third and nine coming up. Ball on their own 27. They line up in a double tight set. Back to pass. Going deep. Lays it out there. And it's picked off. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback's eyes and even a better catch. They'll start this drive at the 36-yard line. Ace backfield. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. Tennessee has one of the top defenses in the nation. Have a look at the stats. Well, I'll tell you what, this whole defense seems to be full of All-Americans. No doubt about it. These kids are the real deal, my friend. Going with the shotgun here. Drops back to pass. Swings it out to his man on the screen. And it's the senior. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. They lose seven yards on that play. situation here on third and long ball on the 21 yard line the Aggie come out the shotgun he drops back he takes off and they make the stop the punt. He gets it away. Number 33 takes it to 25. I'm sure the coach has talked to his team about not turning the ball over again in this possession. They'll go to work at the 29-yard line. Start the drive at the 29-yard line. First and 10. Tries to juke. They'll bring him down. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Second down and five. Ball on their own 34. Trips right. He's hit and got away. He's into the open field. Tackle. And the halfback ripped off a nice gain there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. It's first and 10. Ball on the 50. They'll bring in their dime package. Back to pass. Let's it go. And they couldn't hook up on that one. He just put a little too much air under that one. That's one of the reasons defenses like to blitz, not only to sack the quarterback, but also to force him into making bad throws. Number 16 has four receivers lined up here. They run a counter. They'll drop him for a loss. Excellent play by the defense that time as they swallowed him up before he got back to the line. It's more like they devoured him. He had no shot of breaking clean. Third and 13 coming up. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Tennessee comes out in the shotgun. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. Throws this one out to the left. Off his hands incomplete. A hard throw, and it was dropped. He possibly could have taken something off that one, but hey, when you throw that way, your receivers still can make the catch. 
We're one step away from the big leagues, right, Coach? Kirk, you're absolutely right. The great ones will catch anything. Tennessee, ready to put this one away. Number 80 gets it off. Number 16 calls for the fair catch. He hauls it in at the 14-yard line. This defense did a good job on the last series. They forced the offense to go three plays and out. And now they're looking to build off of that and shut them down again right here. They'll get the ball here at the 14. First and 10. Two tight ends set. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Brought down. Three-yard gain by the running back. Second and seven, ball on the 17-yard line. Two tight ends here. Toss. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defense comes up with a good play to pull him down for a loss. A nice call by the defensive coordinator. It's like he's in their huddle sometimes. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 12-yard line. Texas a and lines up with three receivers. A little juke, and he's stopped behind the line. And that's the end of the first quarter, and we've got a tie ball game. Texas a and ready to put this one away. It's off, and it is a dandy. Number 33 fields at the 44. The defense did a good job against them the last time they had the ball, forcing the punt. But remember, they had given up quite a few yards before forcing that punt. They might not be so lucky this time. Two tight end set. the stop and they pick up two yards it's second down and eight to go ball right around midfield and they have three receivers bunched it's just right and he's going to lose yards on this one they lose three yards there. Third and 11, ball on the 46. Tennessee lines up in a shotgun set. He drops back. Looking, look out. The ball is high, and he got it. That's just airing it out on third down. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. First and ten, they're inside the 20. One man backfield. He'll keep it on the ground again. He might have a chance. And he's taken down. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running lane. When you break one like that, you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. On the ground with the tailback. Brought down. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. Right. 
Tennessee lines up in a goal line set. They'll go with a run once again. Just shoves aside the defender. Touchdown, Tennessee! He got behind those big buffet busters and followed them into the end zone. That doesn't do a whole lot for yards for carry average, but hey, it sure puts a dent in the scoreboard. Tax on the extra point. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. like they're ready for the kick. He hits a booming kick. Number nine fields it in the end zone. The offense gets ready to start a new drive as they just couldn't get anything going on their last possession, going three and out. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. Texas A&M comes to the line with three wide. They snap it to the back. Makes a move. He might have a chance. Tackle. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. First and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. And the impact linebacker has turned it up a notch. Broke away from one, and he's taken down. And the quarterback picks up about three on the draw. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 34-yard line. Nickel defense, the counter. And they make the stop. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. They're down in seven. Ball on the 34. And this impact linebacker is fired up down there. Throws it to the outside. Incomplete pass. And that one will go down as an incompletion. It's too bad because the wide receiver made a super effort to catch that pass. Yeah, coach, he's got the ability to come up with that circus catch. I want that kid on my team. And there's two minutes remaining in the half. Texas A&M ready to punt this one away. Punts the ball away. Number 33 takes it at the 23. They moved the ball very effectively on their last drive, which ended with a touchdown. The defense has been talking it over on the sideline, trying to make some corrections. Let's see if they can stop them this time. They'll set up shot at the 24. Drops back to pass. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. Tennessee takes a timeout. It's second down and a long ways to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. Nickel defense on the ground with the tailback. Brought down. The Aggies are going to take a timeout, and that was their first timeout. Third and 13 coming up. Ball on the 21. Tennessee comes out in the shotgun. Back to pass. Throws it to the outside. Got his man. 
They'll bring him down. Texas A&M calls a timeout. Tennessee lining up the punt. Number 80 punts it, and it's a good one. Number 16 takes it to 25. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out onto the field for their next possession. They'll go to work at the 27. will start the drive at the 27-yard line. First and 10. Tennessee puts six DBs on the field to counter this five-receiver look. Throws this one out to the left. And he's tackled and a pickup of about seven. Second and three. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Aggies with four receivers throws it to the outside. The senior makes the catch. At the point, inside the 30. Goodbye. The wide receiver flew down the field on that touchdown connection. Well, he has the speed to stretch the defense, and his hands are getting better every single game. the PAT and here's the Pontiac drive summary Texas A&M is ready to kick it away. Sends it sailing downfield. Number 21 fields it in the end zone. So the offense takes over, and the last time they had the ball, they had a tough time getting anything going. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. High formation here. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Here's Shagan Bank move. Tackle. Tennessee takes a timeout. Great. Second and one coming up here. Ball on the 29-yard line. If they're not careful, this impact corner is going to make them pay. Here's the give. Jets that one. And they make the stop. He picked up a first down on that run, Coach. Yep, and you know, if you can pick up a few more first downs on the ground like that, it will really open up the play-action pass. The Volunteers line up with two tight ends. He jukes. And now he's got room to run. And he's tackled. That was a pretty good run. Incredible effort there, running the football by this guy. He jukes him. They'll bring him down. Defense looked like it jumped early there. Offsides on the defense. The defense lends them a hand with that penalty. Gosh, giving up penalty yards is so frustrating, isn't it? First down and five to go. Ball right around midfield. Number 16 lines up in the shotgun. He's going right. He's got some blockers. Complete. And he's tackled. That was a big time play and a new set of downs. I think the defense might have been kick and run there. Well, I don't blame him. It's pretty common to see a run on first and second down, but this offense is keeping them guessing. 
The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. Tackle. Just a minute, folks. There's a penalty on that play. Personal foul. Face mask on the defense. Well, the offense is helped out by that defensive penalty. You bet they are. That's an easy way to pick up yards. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. Bunch formation. He drops back. Steps up, looks. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He was facing a mad rush when he threw that ball into the end zone. They came after him, sweetheart. Big time. Tennessee will line up in a jumbo set here. Up the middle. Juke move. Touchdown. Kirk, that was his second touchdown of the day. What else can we expect from him? Uh, I bet on at least a couple more touchdowns for starters. He looks like he's really come to play here in the first half. Tacks on the extra point. Here's the Pontiac drive summary, bringing you fuel for the soul. Tennessee lines up for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. Number seven fields it in the end zone. And that'll do it for the first half of play. Our halftime score, Tennessee, 14. Texas A&M, seven. Texas A&M will be kicking off to start the second half. Kicks it off. Number 21 fields it at the three. Tries to juke. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. They'll take over at the 23. The ball come out in the ace formation. The ground with a tailback. A little juke. And down he goes. And they pick up nine there. Three. It's second down and one to go. Ball on their own 32. The defense will stack the line of scrimmage. He'll give it off here. And he gets pepper. Well, Coach, he picked up a few yards on that one. Red. Tough running by this kid. First and ten. Ball on the 36. Tennessee sets up in the eye. 
Got hit as he threw, and it's knocked away. That's just good defense right there, Coach. It was, Kirk, but you know what? It's all reaction. Anytime you're out there on defense and the pass is within arm's length away, you knock it down. It's second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. This is the kind of running back who can make you pay when he's in the zone. And the snap goes to the back. Bobby would be tackler. Look at the strength. They'll bring him down. And that one goes for a big, big first down. You know, every time you run the ball successfully like that, that defense starts to creep up a little bit. That's when you go to the air, my friend. Over the top. First and 10. Ball on their own 48. Tennessee comes out with an eye formation. They're going to pitch it. Makes a move. And they make the stop. The halfback runs for four yards. Second and six coming up here. This is the sixth play of this drive. The ball line up with two tight ends. Little shake and bake move. And he's tackled. That's a nice six yard game. It's third and inches. Ball on the 42-yard line. The Volunteers line up in a goal line formation. Oh, what a move. Here he goes. They'll bring him down. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counterplay. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. First it's first and 10. ten. Ball on the 31. They line up in an eye. Tackle. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Second and one coming up here, and this is the ninth play of the current drive. The impact player at running back is in the zone right now. There's a missed tackle. And he breaks another. Brought down. And the halfback ripped off a nice game there to get him the first. Hey, this kid's a good-looking back. Let's see if they go to him again. And we take a quick look at the stats from within the red zone, brought to you by Old Spice Red Zone, when performance matters the most. The ball go with the eye formation, get the tackle. And they got him for a loss. A loss on that one as he couldn't get past those big linemen. You got that right. They sacrificed their bodies in there and stuffed him. Right. 11 so yards out. Absolutely no blocking up front. Hey, sometimes a blitz is used to get after a quarterback in the passing game. But this time, it was used to stick the halfback behind the line of scrimmage. The offense faces another third down as they line it up. The impact corner is in the zone right now and looking to take away half the field. Drop passes. That'll drive the coach crazy. That'll drive the quarterback crazy. And that'll drive the fans crazy. Well, I'm sure he'll get an earful when he gets to the sideline. You bet he will. Yeah. 
lines up for the field goal. This could make it a two-score game. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. And now let's take a look at the drive summary brought to you by Pontiac. Number 25, ready to kick. Number seven, back deep to return. Nice kick, plenty of distance. Number nine, fields it in the end zone. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 20. First and 10. The Aggies line up with three receivers bunched. Play action, rolls to the left, throws this one out to the left, at the 40, and he's shoved out of bounds. Way to look it in. Nice catch. Sure was. He displayed some great hands there. Now we're looking at a first down. First and 10, ball on the 41. Come out in the shotgun. Steps up in the pocket. Down the middle. It's dropped. Looked like the ball was right to him. He just dropped it. Well, that's inexcusable, and boy, that quarterback gets upset when that happens. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 41. Texas A&M sets up in the eye. He jukes. And he's tackled. The running back gives them six yards on the ground. Third and four. Ball on their own 47. The Aggies come out showing three wide. They snap it to the back. And he's taken down. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. It's first and ten. And this is the fifth play of the current drive. Number one is in the zone and looking to make a play. Fullback handoff. A nice seven-yard run by the fullback. Second and three. Ball on the 36-yard line. Texas A&M comes out with an eye formation. Again with a carry. He jukes it. Tackle. And that was a nice run. Kirk, that was a great job by that big offensive line. Yeah, it really was, Brad. And also, a nice read by the ball carrier to find that running line. When you break one like that, you gotta give a lot of credit to the offensive line. It's first and 10. This is the seventh play of this drive. So that brings us to the end of the quarter. And at the end of three, our score, Tennessee, 17. Texas A&M, seven. First and 10, and this is the seventh play of the current drive. I wouldn't try anything tricky on defense. This quarterback's looking to make a play. They'll throw on first down. Wants to throw outside. He's on the run. Nice decision by the quarterback. Not only was it good decision making, but the offensive line protected just long enough for him to find his target. And when you combine the two, it'll be a first down nine out of 10 times. From the gun. Back 
reaction pass. He steps up, gets past the tackler, throws it to the outside. And it falls incomplete. He couldn't make the catch inbound. You can't fault the receiver. He did all he could to make the catch. The pass was just too far out of play. On the 12, and they can smell the goal line. And they have three receivers bunch. They snap it to the back. He can scoop. Brought down. Picked up big yards there, and he's going to have a first down. Yeah, nice job there. This guy does a good job in reading his blocks and accelerating through the hole. The Aggies come to the line with their jumbo package. Nice play fake. He's looking. Throws this one out to the right. The ball is tipped. Way to keep your head on a swivel, kid. That was a nice job of locating the football and knocking it down to prevent the completion. Sure was, coach. He put himself in great position to make a play. They've got all the big boys in for this one. Throws off balance. Touchdown, Texas A&M. Nice toss to the tight end to cap off the drive. He looked for him because he knew, based on the defensive set, that he'd have a good shot at completing that for a score. Tacks on the extra point. The fine folks at Pontiac bringing us this summary of how that drive took place. Number 13, ready to kick. Kicks it deep. Number 33, fields it in the end zone. A good job on their last drive, getting three. Let's see if they can get some more on this drive. They'll go to work at the 20-yard line. High formation here. move and he's tackled they keep it on the ground and the halfback gets about seven yards second, second and three ball on the 27 on the 27 yard line. Tennessee comes out with two tight ends the tailback. Tackle. Gain of two. Third and one coming up on this play. Ball on their own 29. The ball. Line up in an eye formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He juked him out of his shoes. They'll bring him down. And that'll give him another first down. Excellent job there, Brad, of running the football. That was good execution by this offense. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39-yard line. Tennessee comes out with an eye formation. On the ground, left side. Drives to Juke. Can't wrap him up. Brought down at the 44. The halfback gets the call and picks up five. Second 
Second down and five. This is the fifth play of this drive. High formation here. the sack. Somebody came free there. Yeah, the linebacker shot through and nobody picked him up. He was all over him, Kirk. He wasn't letting the quarterback get anywhere. So another third down upcoming for the offense. Come out showing three wide. Drops back to pass. Steps up, looking. He's looking down the middle. Incomplete pass. The ball is knocked to the ground. Players use anything they can to get in the way of a pass. Punt this one away. Number 80 gets it off. Number 16 takes it at the 23. A little juke. They get the ball back after a touchdown on their last possession. And the reason why they scored last time was because of the way they ran the football. Yeah, you're right, Lee. They drove almost a length of the field. Let's see if they can put some more points up on the board. They'll work from the shotgun. He unloads it, and it's caught. He can scoot a yard on the play action that time. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Texas A&M lines up in a shotgun set. Back to pass. He'll dump this one off. The senior makes the catch. The 50 at the 40. Takes off a tackle. To the 20. To the 10. Goodbye. Terrific pass. And the wideout hauls it in for the touchdown. Brad, the wide receiver's route was the key on that throw. You're right, Kirk. This route running really has improved. And the quarterback has been throwing his weight a lot more. Time to take a look at the drive summary. It's brought to you by Pontiac, fuel for the soul. Texas A&M to kick. Here's the kick. Number 21 fields it in the end zone. Makes the move. They're just about ready to get this drive started. After their last series had some promise, but it ended with a punt. They'll start this drive at the 20-yard line. They have three bunch. They'll throw on first down. He's looking down the middle. And they couldn't hook up on that one. The quarterback had a tough time with a blitz on that one. Now with this guy, you can't let him stand back there and have too much time to throw the ball. You've got to get a hand in his face. Second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Tennessee comes out with three receivers bunched. 
He drops back. Steps up in the pocket. Wants to throw outside. Got it. Across midfield. At the 40. Got an opening. To the 10. Goodbye. They went for the home run, and the wideout came through with a big-time play. Great call here by the offensive coordinator. He knew that he had a chance to get the matchup that he wanted, and he exploited it for a touchdown. tax on the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. sends this one deep. Number nine fields it in the end zone. There's a fumble. Number seven with a recovery. First and ten, ball on the 16. Four wide. Looks, comes across the middle, and he's taken down. Kirk, what do you have for us? Well, that catch put the receiver over 100 yards. He's been one of the quarterback's favorite targets all game long. Tight end set. They hand it off. Big opening. And down he goes at the 41. They get three yards on the play. The Aggie come out of the ace formation. Inside give. And he's stopped behind the line. Texas AM calls a timeout. Third and eight. Ball on their own 40. Number one lines up with five wide out. Drops back to pass. He steps up. He's looking. He passes it. Batted ball. It falls incomplete. Good job there by the defense to get a hand on it. It was, Kirk. But when you're going out for a pass and the ball is in the air, you need to go after it and come down with it. You just can't watch the defender bat it down. Looking with the throw. Complete. And he's drilled. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. They'll set up shot at the 42-yard line. The ball go with the eye formation. On the ground, up the middle. Little shake and bake move. He spins around. And they make the stop. Texas AM takes a timeout. Second and two. Ball in 34. They're lining up in the 5 2. They'll bring him down. Texas A&M calls a timeout. Great. 
It's first and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Second down and 12. Ball on the 29. Six DBs in the lineup. the final gun and this game is history coach what's your final thought on the game well this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long Tennessee really got all they asked for and more in this contest great job by both teams that concludes another game of NCAA football 2006 our final score Tennessee 24 Texas A&M 21 so for Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreet this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye everybody and thanks for tuning in